Hello everyone. So today I gave this question in one of the session and uh, it was as a homework and uh, taken angular momentum and 3D rotation class on uh, YouTube. So we are going to find kinetic energy of the system. Let me just uh, explain what is the situation here. So there is a rigid rod of length 6R. Uh, as you can see here, there is a rigid rod of length 6R and its mass is M right its mass is uh, m i hope it is clear to everyone uh, and uh, there is a disc connected here there is a disc connected here and other side uh, through a rigid uh, ring this sphere is connected and there is no slipping anywhere okay no slipping anywhere it is uh, given to us we have to calculate total energy of the system we have to calculate total energy of the system. Uh, let's take this mass as 6m so that uh, it will become easy for us. We can say mass of this part of the rod is uh, 2m and uh, mass of this part of the rod is uh, 4m. In that case, this will become a relatively easier uh, part. Otherwise, what we have to do is we have to calculate different masses if I go with the different uh, lengths. So uniform rod. This mass is M for disk and this is for solid sphere. Here it is a disk. Let's calculate the kinetic energy of uh, this entire system. Now it's a very nice problem and uh, on the tougher side. So when I write kinetic energy of the system, I have to write K disk plus K sphere plus k of rod based on this answer will come there is no slipping anywhere they are moving in two different circles so you can see why the geometry radius of this circle is uh, 3r and radius of this circle is uh, 4r all right this radius is 3r and this radius is 4r so i framed this question during the class itself and uh, uh, let's see how uh, the final answer is going to come in this situation. So as we have discussed in the theory, so there are going to be multiple omegas in this body. This body will have multiple omegas. So let me draw the axis properly. This one axis about this rotation will happen. There is one axis here about this rotation will happen. And uh, similarly for this, this is one axis about which rotation will happen. And there will be this vertical axis about which rotation will happen and uh, yeah there will be vcm as well so here you can see this center of mass will have uh, velocity along the circle like this we can say now one by one we are going to calculate only thing which is given to us is v naught of this and it is 90 degree so if there is no slipping i can easily say there will be this uh, omega Let's call this as omega 2 and uh, condition of pure rolling, it is going to be V0 by R. All right. Another part is due to this rod which is connected here, there is going to be angular velocity of precision. This omega, let's call this as omega 1 and it will be, uh, it will be V0 by 4R. Now we know this omega. So here I can say when this body is rotating with this omega even about this axis body will have same omega. So we can say this body will have same omega 1 here and its value is known to us. This is V0 by 4R. I hope it is clear to everyone. At the same time this rod is, rod is in pure uh, rotation about this given axis. So for that also we are going to write. Now, let's use this constraint of omega because this omega precision is given to us and this length is uh, 3r. So, here velocity of this will become 3r omega 1. Let's call this as v1. And if I substitute the value of uh, this, this will become 3v0 by 4r. Once you have this 3v0 by 4r and since it is parallel to this about this axis also let's call this as omega 1 dash and it will be omega 1 itself and this value is v naught by 4 r 
so this problem will check all your concepts and how uh, cool you can be during the solving this problem and there will be this uh, omega 2 dash i'm calling it as omega 2 dash let's apply the condition of pure ruling here this will be vcm 2 pi r so vcm is uh, 3 v naught by 4 r you can check here uh, by the way this r will not come here r and r will can 3 v naught by 4 so divided by divided by p v naught by 4 r see i'm solving such a complicated question in uh, live so i just hope i don't make any calculation mistake so please take care of that one by one i'm going to write all let's start with the kinetic energy of rod let's write with the kinetic energy of rod so one side you will find this rod is having length of 2r and one side this length is 4r and it is rotating with this so m l1 uh, m l square by 3 for this m l square by 3 for this and we can just add these two so i'll write half i i1 omega 1 square plus half i2 omega 2 square i'm just writing like this uh, please see i'm doing this for rod only so 1 by 2 left side part mass is 2m mass is 2m and its length is uh, 2r ml square by 3 and this will become omega 1 square omega 1 is v naught by 4 whole square just please check the uh, entire data it's such a complicated uh, problem here so half mass of this that is 2m you can see here ml square by 3 formula i'm applying so m is 2m so half m l square by 3 about this axis into omega 1 square so omega 1 i have got here v naught by 4r so 4r whole square this is for left side rod now for second uh, rod also i need to apply the same thing but with different masses and different length so half i will become mass is uh, 4m into length is 4r whole square divided by 3 and luckily omega remains same so this will become how much uh, v naught by 4r whole square and many people have solved this question and uh, sent the answer so we can uh, check if it is uh, giving the right answer or not or whether your answer has matched with this or not guys please keep checking i just hope i don't make any mistake the good feeling is uh, not coming so here just uh, you can check this 4 8 and here 16 32 so divided by 4 will come so this will become m v naught square by 4 i just hope i didn't make any mistake here 4 into 3 that is uh, 12 that is 12 m v naught square by 12 directly i i am writing here one more time i will check this is uh, 4 8 8 and this is 16 to 2 2 into 3 uh, 6 into 2 12 i think it's correct plus for the next one this 4r and this 4r will get cancelled this will become uh, 2 so this is going to give 2 by 3 mv naught square all right now we are going to check 8 9 9 by 12 mv naught square which is 3 by 4 mv naught square so this is the kinetic energy of total rod this is the kinetic energy of total rod let's write similar in similar fashion kinetic energy of disc kinetic energy of disc here multiple omegas are there we need to take care of that so first thing formula is half m vcm square plus half i omega square is there so half m v square first we will be writing kinetic energy due to translation so half m 
vcm square so that will come as it is as you can see that will come as it is and next will be half i omega 2 square about this axis this part uh, you know moment of inertia due to this rotation term comes so half and it's a disc it's a disc so plus half moment of inertia about that axis is m r square luckily masses and all are not changing so for me this is some kind of relaxation into omega 2 i'll check omega 2 is v naught by r here so this will become v naught by r whole square plus there is one more omega present in this body and it is this about vertical axis and here omega is v naught by 4 r and moment of inertia of disk about this vertical axis is also mr square by 4 so i need to write half mr square by 4 into omega square so let's write this let's write this half moment of inertia is mr square by 4 into omega 1 square that is v naught by 4 r whole square so this is v naught by 4 r whole square if i simplify this i am going to get this answer as half mv square and uh, let's check this part this will become mv square by 4 so m v naught square by 2 the first term intact hai, plus uh, second term is how much m v naught square by 4 this will become m v naught square by 4 and the third term is uh, 16 64 and uh, 128 m v naught square by 128 now we can add uh, these so if it is 128 this will become 64 plus this will become 32 plus 1 so how much it is going to give us it will give us 97 by 128 mv naught square see slightly bad number has come like 3 by 4 was a good number but anyways we don't have to worry about this let's calculate k sphere k sphere same logic i am going to apply here but but you can see the vcm has changed the omega has changed omega 1 has changed logic will be same but the values are very different so when i am writing first term center of mass ka energy center of mass value energy if i am writing half luckily mass is m and vcm is how much 3 v naught by 4 i think yes so 3 v naught by 4 whole square plus plus here you can see moment of inertia now i want to write about this axis uh, this kinetic energy term its complete derivation is uh, there i have discussed in that class please uh, if you find it difficult just go through it and uh, i'm very sure that easily you can see it all right so now i'll write half i will become i about this axis is 2 by 5 mr square so mass is m only mass of this is m only uh, we haven't written but let's take so that okay it's written here so half i is 2 by 5 mr square and omega will be 3 v naught by 4 r whole square so let's write that part half into 2 by 5 mr square into this omega is how much 3 v naught by 4 r so this omega is 3 v naught by 4 r due to no slipping we have got the whole square of this plus now third term third term is due to that vertical axis third term is due to this vertical axis i hope you are getting this uh, idea i hope you are getting this uh, idea what will happen in this situation what will happen in this situation 
it's very very simple it's very very simple you can check this will become this will become half half moment of inertia is 2 by 5 m r square and here this term is omega is v naught by 4 r whole square so this will become v naught by 4 r whole square now this we have to simplify and uh, how much this is going to come 3 m v naught square by uh, so this will come this plus or the thing here what will do so the so nine by eighty mv naught square plus and this will become mv naught square divided by eighty to combine okay three by thirty two plus now it does but they art one by eight mv naught square somewhat this is uh, relatively better 4 7 by 32 mv naught square this is coming as k sphere so now we have to add all these so k total when i'm writing k total when i'm writing i have to write it as uh, 3 by 4 plus uh, 97 by 128 plus 7 by 32 mv naught square i think i can combine them all plus 97 plus i think 4 se multiply karne pe kaam ban gaya 4 28 a this will become 28 and this is 128 Oof mv naught square but up here naked naked 90 this will become 96 and 96 even a 192 even a 192 eek extra hai to even a 193 kikana plus 28 then gara no, the 221 by 128. This is my answer. I just hope I'm not making any mistake anywhere in the calculation. I just hope. But if I have made, please ignore that and learn the concept. Concept is very valuable here. And this is going to be the K total in this particular case. I hope you are able to understand. If this is the case with you, please uh, leave the comment if you are able to solve this question correctly and you have got the correct answer here. So that's it guys in this video. Thank you. If you want to connect with me with Anagademy, these discounts are going on. 30 months, 15 months, 3 months and these uh, discounts are up to 30%. So you can use my code Nitin sir in order to connect with me on an academy and uh, early birds offer hai, 2025 batches ke liye plus and iconic ke liye. so huge uh, discounts are there and uh, yes those who have written uh, jmains recently they can uh, check their ranks and uh, find out whether uh, the rank predictor is giving good results or not and uh, their uh, performance and relative rank also.